crypto. Hey everybody, today I want to do a quick review of my new stove, Vogelzang VG1120. We picked this up from Menards around Christmas Eve and put it in that day we got it. I burned it probably 10 times since then. And I live in Kansas, so it's not extremely cold here, but today we're having like a 10 degree day. And so it's pretty cold. And I just wanted to do a quick review because I couldn't find any reviews online of this. And after using it, I'm a big fan and I have used other stoves. And so I just want to talk to you about some of the pros and cons that I see in it. And um, just let you know. First of all, this was the cheapest EPA approved wood stove that Menards carries. It was like $573 on sale. And uh, it came in two days. We ordered it, it was really quick. I did a single wall chimney, six inch chimney up the top. And then at, on the roof, I did triple wall stainless steel. It's a very straight shot. So all that heat just goes, all the uh, draft is very straight and just, it pulls very hard and easy. It's super easy to get started. Mainly that's because the draft is so straightforward and simple. It's not a big long run and there's not that much outside pipe. So it runs very well in that aspect. Um, the pros and cons. One, it puts out a very good even heat. I've used a few different Drolet stoves. I've had a couple of the old Smoke Dragon, the big just iron square boxes. This thing puts out a very nice even heat. It's not, I would not say it's a huge amount of heat, uh, but I would say it's very good for the size. And uh, I don't have a temp gauge on it, but right now this thing is cruising really pretty hard. And I would say it's running probably 450, 500 just from my past stove uses. I am burning hedge. I have some honey locusts in there and I have some just like some compressed blocks in there. So I try to run a mixture of hardwoods. We actually have quite a bit of hedge here in Kansas and we have really good hardwoods, which you don't need a ton of hardwood here because it's just not that cold, but this thing is just running like a top. And so um, the glass stays pretty clear. I like the handle design. I like it's a simple, it's a clean design. I love that. I love the size of it. I did not want something just that was a monster that could eat our whole house. This fits that bill nicely. Um, the things that I don't love about it. One, the glass gets a little bit fogged up occasionally. I think that's probably part of the, having a uh, small firebox. So you kind of have to load it, really stick the wood in there to get it to get four or five pieces in there. That, and then come over here, Max. Let me show you this. The valve, so can you get down there? The valve to open and close the draft is right there. Your air, your air control valve is underneath the stove, which is a hard spot for it to be. So that's fully closed in. How's that fire doing? Yeah, it's burning good. The EPA is really working. The EPA um, secondary burn is just working like a charm. That's what you want to see. The stove is very quiet. It doesn't tick. It doesn't. It doesn't uh, move. It doesn't make any noises. You you don't even hear the fire in there, which a lot of times, with my other stoves, I have heard that fire. So that's one thing I love. It's just quiet. It's easy to use. Lights very well. Lights every time. I love the glass on the front. I love the shape, I love the size. And I would say, if you can fix anything, Vogelzang, put that handle a little bit easier for us to get to, to control the valve. And um, other than that, keep on burning. You guys have a good one.